Chapter 111. Possession. In the forest, the roars of beasts came one after another, shaking the sky. Ling Feng received a message from his senior brother and didn't stay any longer. He quickly prepared to return to the academy. The flying skateboard left a trail of clouds in the sky, and Ling Feng quickly disappeared into the forest. He had just arrived in front of the academy when he saw eldest senior brother looking at the void with a serious expression. Ling Feng stepped forward. Eldest senior brother, I'm coming. Eldest brother pointed to the void and said seriously, Master sent a letter just now. The space in the void is fluctuating, and a spatial tunnel has appeared. He wants us to prepare defensive measures to deal with this unforeseen event. Hearing this, Ling Feng subconsciously looked in the direction of the void. He noticed that the clouds in the sky had become colorful, and he could vaguely see a black vortex-like thing floating in the air. At this moment, Ling Feng suddenly heard a deafening roar. The sound was so loud that even his heart was shaking. Ling Feng raised his head and looked around. The eldest senior brother had a puzzled expression on his face and was also shouting, but Ling Feng could not hear what he was saying. Ling Feng had a bad feeling. What was going on? Why can't I hear you? The surroundings were completely silent as if all sound had disappeared. Suddenly, a huge claw emerged from the vortex. It waved its claws, and the black hole grew bigger and bigger. It was twice as big as before, and it was about to cover the entire academy. A bright sword light streaked past. It was unclear where it came from, but it was as clean and neat as a shining galaxy, magnificent and magnificent. Buzz. The beast claw was cut off by the sword light. As if something had broken, Ling Feng suddenly felt that he could hear it. Following that, all sorts of sounds came from the surroundings. His hearing had recovered. It was as if this claw had stolen all sound. After a series of roars, the beast seemed to feel pain, and its claws began to withdraw. The claws gradually disappeared, but soon, blood rain fell from the sky. The sky above the rain was on a wasteland outside the school. As the blood rain fell, the plants on the ground quickly withered. The previously green grass had now withered and turned yellow into dry grass. Wang Buyu pulled him back to the academy. Ling Feng's expression finally eased up when they arrived at the academy. Eldest senior brother, what was that just now? Although Ling Feng still had some lingering fear, he still wanted to know what it was. It was the first time she had seen a beast claw that could tear space apart. She was nervous at the time, but she guessed that it should be from another world, but she was not sure. Wang Buyu wasn't calm either. It was too dangerous just now. It made him nervous. It wasn't just them. The people of the northern border city were also extremely shocked and afraid. They had not recovered from their shock. Wang Buyu. That guy just now. He's probably some god. He's probably from another world. A god? Above tier 9 was the domain of gods, known as the realm of gods. There were no gods on the blue planet, and gods from the outside couldn't come in. So, the guy who wanted to tear space and come in, but was injured, was from the outside. That sword light was probably Master's. Although Master has the strength of tier 9, it was not that easy for him to defeat a god. He must have paid a great price. After this, we will not have time to idle around. He smiled, but he was actually very worried. His respected master was his backer and also his backer in the north. He still didn't know how his master was doing. Eldest senior brother, we, Ling Feng was extremely worried. Don't worry, master will be fine. I'll give him a call. He opened his watch. However, as soon as the call was made, a figure slowly approached them not far away. Ling Feng looked up and was a little surprised to see who it was. Master. Wang Buyu quickly went up, Master, are you okay? Sword God came over with a long sword in his hand. The tip of the sword was still dripping with blood. Ling Feng wanted to say something but stopped, because he could see that Sword God's expression wasn't too good. Sword God looked at Ling Feng and nodded his head in understanding. It's just that chasing away that thing consumed a bit of vitality. It will recover in a few days. He looked at the passage that had just appeared and sighed silently. He was afraid that there would not be many peaceful days after this. In the past 300 years, he had seen all kinds of worlds, but there were very few worlds where gods existed. Many other worlds were at the same level as the blue planet, or even much weaker. But now, a god was invading. It was obvious that a fierce battle would soon come. 
sword god. Gods can't come in. They can only expand the passage. Wang Buyu, activate the academy's array. There will be many intruders soon. It's no different from a beast tide. Just be careful. I'm going to the inner cabinet to discuss this matter with the elders. As soon as he finished speaking, sword god disappeared. Eldest senior brother immediately went to prepare, leaving only Ling Feng standing in place. After they left, Ling Feng felt uneasy and decided to check on Ling Yun's situation. Suddenly, the system's voice sounded. Furthermore, it was very fast and continuous, which made Ling Feng feel that it was really timely. Ling Yun, this rascal, is giving me a surprise at the most crucial moment. However, where did he find so many monsters? Although the monsters were very low lever, with the highest being tier 3, there were many of them. Hence, he accumulated quite a lot of points. Before dark, he had already accumulated 5 million. Ling Yun called him proudly. Big brother, how is it? You've entered the beast's nest. Why are there so many of them all of a sudden? Haha, <laughs> actually, that's not it. I just found a part-time job killing ferocious beasts. If I had discovered this way earlier, I wouldn't have spent so much effort looking for ferocious beasts. Ling Yun laughed. Several mountains connected this place, and there were countless murderers inside. Ling Feng was also very pleased. The child had become sensible and knew how to take the initiative to earn upgrade points. He didn't need to go through the trouble of finding a nest. Not bad. Good luck. However, we have to be faster. Something big has happened in the void today, and a passage to the other world has opened. The inner cabinet has probably received the news by now and is thinking of a way to deal with it. Ling Yun was very surprised. Every time the other world appeared, it was basically an invasion. From Ling Fang's words, he could tell that the other world had made a move. No problem, I'll speed up. You have to be careful too. Don't risk your life. After all, you have hundreds of us behind you, Ling Yun replied. Ling Feng was speechless. Even without Ling Yun's words, he knew that if he weren't capable enough, he would try his best to stay out of it. The two of them chatted for a while before hanging up. Ling Feng opened the system and said, Upgrade the clone. The system received the order and immediately followed it. Checking upgrade points. You have enough points to upgrade. Talent upgrade successful. Congratulations, you have successfully upgraded to S+. The number of clones you can summon has been doubled. It can now carry 170% of the main body's combat power. Do you still have a quota for clones? Ling Feng asked. The system replied, it must be upgraded to sulfur monosulfide rank to unlock the new clone possession chapter 112 freeloading in a psychiatric ward possession hearing these two words ling fang's interest was instantly piqued although there were no other rewards for upgrading to s plus only an increase in the number of ordinary clones the next upgrade would allow him to obtain the ability to possess compared to a clone possession was much easier and more convenient possession didn't need to be so strenuous and he could just directly take over someone else's body at first, he thought that there might be an extra quota for an incarnation this time. However, the system had actually upgraded and turned into possession. The moment he reached SS rank, he would gain the ability to possess, and he would be able to turn anyone's body into his. However, if he could go to the other world, he would be able to use the ability to possess to do anything more conveniently, including obtaining resources and information about the other world. He was already looking forward to it. If this possession was successfully cultivated, what if he had the chance to become the master of a world? At that time, he would have all the resources in the world and could use them at his will. The thought of it made him extremely excited. If it were upgraded to SSS rank, there would be no more forms of incarnations. By then, it would definitely be more advanced than possession. Thinking of this, he looked forward to it even more. He also wanted to upgrade his clone's talent as soon as possible. He looked up at the sky. It was already dark, he was ready to go to the cafeteria to eat. After dinner, he went to the library and summoned all his clones. A white light flashed, and 200 clones appeared in the library. Go study, Ling Feng commanded them. To enjoy a better future, everyone must work hard. After cheering on his clones and seeing that everyone had gone to study, Ling Feng turned around and left the library, returning to the villa. It was already dark. After taking a shower and surfing the internet for a while, he could go to sleep. After washing up, he looked at the news on his watch. 
he would watch this news every day. This was because there would be new updates each day. On the first of this month, the Kanglin human tribe was recaptured. Everyone is under surveillance. According to statistics, the Kanglin's garrison has already been recovered. It can house over one-third of the human population, but most areas are extremely cold and unsuitable for human habitation. The sword god was timely. However, that whirlpool should be some kind of channel similar to a spatial rift. That rift was a little too big, unfortunately, and the other world on the other side was probably not simple. Could it be that they are about to invade our blue planet? Furthermore, the other was an unknown world with gods. He did not expect another divine invasion to occur after 50 years. Today's news. Tens of thousands of ferocious beasts were killed overnight in the slaughterhouse in the south of the central city. What was the situation? According to the investigation, there was a part-time student from the Imperial Shadow Academy at the scene. At that time, a part-time employee had a dull expression and a pale face as if he had suffered some kind of blow. He has already been sent to the hospital. The slaughterhouse had also issued a statement, saying that they would bear all the medical expenses of this employee. After the employee recovers, he will be given 300,000 yuan as compensation. The police have begun to investigate. Ling Feng closed the news page and felt a little strange. Could this be, he muttered to himself. Ling Yun was working part-time at the slaughterhouse. Could it have something to do with him? Or maybe he knew something. I'll call and ask. Ling Feng then contacted Ling Yun. After his talent was upgraded, the age limit of his mental power was more convenient and unobstructed. The signal bar was full within 10 miles. That was why he could just sit at home and gain points. He closed his eyes and contacted Ling Yun, Central City, in the psychiatry department of a certain hospital. In a certain ward, on a certain bed, a young man with a pale face was eating crazily as if competing with food. After eating for a long time, he was finally full. He put down his chopsticks and let out a breath. I'm smart. If I didn't think of playing dumb to avoid this, I'm afraid I wouldn't have been able to hide it. But even if I didn't play dumb, those people definitely wouldn't have thought that I killed those beasts by myself. You're right. I didn't kill them in the first place. Those puppets killed those fierce beasts. What does it have to do with me? Why don't I take this opportunity to get a good night's sleep and wait for the compensation to arrive tomorrow? Then I'll go back to school. With so many berserk beasts, I should have a lot of upgrade points. Big brother must be very happy now and will definitely approve my leave tomorrow. I shouldn't think too much and go to sleep. He smugly prepared to sleep. But now, his actions were all seen by Ling Feng. After seeing this situation, Ling Feng felt helpless. This Ling Yun was really, after Ling Feng retracted his consciousness, he lay on the bed and smiled. He was indeed very happy. Not long after, he also fell asleep. At this time, the night was quiet, and everyone had fallen asleep. However, the inner cabinet was bustling with activity. Usually, there would only be a dozen cabinet meetings. Among them were the academy presidents, the elders, the generals, and the technical department. The cabinet formed by these 13 people represented the interests of 13 parties. But now, there were an additional of over 10 parties. The city lords of various places and some recluses, including the sword god himself, were also present. The old man and sword god sat in the main seats. Sword god, please tell us what you've seen during the invasion of the other world, the librarian said. He had just finished speaking. Everyone looked at sword god. There was no smile on his face. He looked like he was paralyzed. The old man was helpless. After a long while, sword god spoke. My description is not good enough. Why don't you all see it for yourself? He raised his hand, and a projection appeared on the wall. Everyone looked at the projection. It was calm and harmonious, with a blue sky and white clouds. But all of a sudden, a huge black vortex appeared in the sky, and out came a huge claw. It was as if it was trying to tear the vortex apart and get out of it. The claw was as big as half the sky. Even though it was in the vortex, it was still very terrifying. Many people knew in their hearts that it should be a god. Not long after, the sword light flashed and hit the beast's claw which subsequently retracted. Everyone was silent after reading it, but they were shocked. This sword god was so powerful that they could not imagine. Even if the other party only revealed one claw, sword god was able to injure him and make him bleed with one strike. This strike probably injured even a god. Sword god said, I used up a lot of vital chi. 
This strike looks ordinary, but I must rest for a few days. But in my opinion, he shouldn't have been injured too badly, only bleeding. However, he must be a god, and those at tier 9 usually can't withstand this attack. According to the rules of the past, the gods will invade our world soon after they appear, we should be ready. Even if they can't enter, in that world, I'm afraid there are many tier 9 powerhouses. We just need to guard our own territory, but there are other exits in the void. We'll have to trouble the other alien races. If we can defend it, then we will be safe. If we can't, I'm afraid the enemy will swallow our territory, and we will become their slaves. So we have to fight. This battle is unavoidable. Don't take any chances. We have to fight the enemy together. The old man nodded, thinking that it made sense. The sword god is right. This battle is inevitable. I hope that everyone can unite to fight against our common enemy. Chapter 113. Defensive Battle. Everyone had something on their minds, and their emotions were in turmoil. However, in terms of unity, no one declined. They had all firmly chosen to stand together to protect their homeland and defeat the invaders. If one side fell, the others would be affected and become food for the beasts. Fiery King expressed his stand. Our elemental academy will send 1,000 people to join the war. This is also a chance for the students to train. Fu Yao Zi. Our Kushu Academy is also willing to take responsibility. We are also willing to send 1,000 students. All right. Imperial Shadow got up. Imperial Shadow Academy will follow closely behind everyone. The Vajra Academy has never had many students. We can only send 100 people at most this time. I hope everyone doesn't take it to heart, the Divine Monk said. The other colleges responded to the call as well. There were only 100 people from Vajra Academy while the other colleges sent over 1,000 people. The chairman of the technology department also helped by opening a special train to be in charge of transportation and support. They provided food and weapons for the war. The librarian said, I'll leave the task of transferring soldiers to you, great general. The other city lords need not participate in the battle. You just need to protect the cities you're in charge of and prevent the outsiders from taking advantage of the situation to cause chaos. As for the others, you can encourage adventurers to participate in this war. When the time comes, we will open the Battle Achievement Mall. Everything in the mall is provided by the cabinet, and everyone can redeem prizes based on their battle achievements. All the hermits present are powerhouses of our human race. I'm very pleased that you can participate in internal affairs. I hope everyone can contribute to resisting our enemies and protecting our homeland. Everyone was extremely excited when they heard this and vowed to do their best. The meeting is over. Next, I'll give everyone a document related to this battle. After reading it, you can assign your tasks. I believe that as long as we work together, we can defend against the enemy. After the meeting, only five or six people were left in the conference room. Because the others were just projections, they disappeared. When Ling Feng opened his eyes the next morning, he saw extremely big news. After the cabinet's discussion, preparations were made to resist foreign enemies. All the universities, anonymous adventurers, technology departments, civilian hermits, and the military are ready to fight the enemy together in the void and prepare for the invasion of the other world. We also encourage everyone to take the initiative to join the war this time and open up the war points exchange function. Everyone can use their own war points to exchange for things in the war points store. The cabinet provides all the items in the store. The Skytrain has opened an exclusive route. Volunteers can form their own teams and take the train to the void. It's only been one night, and you've already made such thorough arrangements. Ling Feng was a little shocked. He had slept very early last night, but he didn't expect them to meet overnight to formulate a strategy. Furthermore, they announced the progress and news early in the morning. This was quite fast. It seemed that when Sword God reorganized the politics, many people had an epiphany. Ling Feng muttered, this war doesn't seem to be a bad thing. If I don't go out and just stay in the base, can I control my clone to participate in the battle? Ling Feng tried to think about whether this distance could be achieved. After a while, he was too lazy to think about it. Outside, the sun was already up. After reading the news, he could guess what would happen in the next few days. After leaving home, he went straight to the library and recalled all of his clones. He also received the results of the clones reading last night. He meditated cross-legged and absorbed all the information in the book. A long time passed. When he opened his eyes, he felt more confident. 
His watch rang. It was eldest senior brother, he picked up. Where are you now? Eldest brother asked. Ling Feng was stunned. The library. What's wrong? The Skytrain is about to arrive, and the first batch of support organizations will be here soon. You don't even know this. Didn't you see the news on the forum? The news of the war has spread. Ling Feng rubbed his head. I was distracted from reading and ignored the news. I'll come now. Don't be too nervous, the senior said. There'll be an oath taking session in a while. It'll be in the conference room. You may come and take a look. Just show your face. Okay, I understand. I'll go and see what's going on. After hanging up the phone, Ling Feng opened the forum and saw that the discussions were all about the defensive battle. In fact, he only read the news in the past. As for the forum, he would not read it if he could, because it was really chaotic and could easily affect his mood. At this moment, there were all kinds of posts, he opened a few of them. Dear netizens, I'm the editor this time. What do we want to discuss this time? I won't tease anymore. Let's get to the main topic. I believe everyone should have a better understanding of the void incident. When one side is in trouble, all four sides will provide assistance, but it's not as if everyone doesn't know how dangerous the sinkhole is. The events that happened not long ago are still fresh in my mind. As for this defensive battle, the editor-in-chief expressed his understanding. In the face of the invasion of the other world, if we act rashly and don't understand the other party's background, we will be disadvantaged. That's why we say that defense is the first. The void doesn't just accommodate us, humans, it's also the home of other races. We'll all work together to fight against the other world and defend our homes, so there's no need to worry too much. The technology department has opened a special route for the transportation of reinforcements. The Skytrain has also been set off. I'm on the train right now. I'll be live streaming the entire process. If you want to see the follow up, please follow me. After that, this person sent a link to his live broadcast room. Ling Feng sighed, then opened other live streams, which were basically the same. In the end, Ling Feng still clicked on the live stream of the person before him. The scene appeared before his eyes. This editor was dressed gorgeously and carried a rather exaggerated short sword. He walked in the crowd in a flashy manner. He held his phone and explained to everyone as he walked, I believe many of you have not seen the Supreme Academy before. We're already inside the building. It isn't very big, but its architectural style is very beautiful and very unique. It's unforgettable. The conference room is up ahead. Today, we'll be holding an oath-taking ceremony here. The first batch of volunteers will be attending. After that, we'll go to the defense line of the ultimate to set up the scene. According to the information I got, among the first group of people who came with me, there were many RA masters, architects, and feng shui talisman masters. These people are all from the defense department. After that, we'll carry out some defensive modifications. At that time, the editor will continue to broadcast live. Everyone can watch the master's technical abilities through the live broadcast room. The morale boosting rally is about to begin. The official platform will also be broadcasting it live. You should all watch it. I'm going to attend it now. It won't be convenient to broadcast the pledge ceremony live. After all, it's a grand occasion. Goodbye, everyone. Chapter 114. The fight for the human race. Other than the observation tower, the tallest building in the entire school was the conference hall. Though it was not a big building, it stood over 30 meters tall. It was divided into two floors. The classroom was at the bottom, and the meeting room was on the second floor. At this time, there were thousands of people in the meeting room. This was the first batch of people from the major cities. Among them were many technical personnel from the technology department and the defense department. The rest were some elite soldiers sent by the central city to protect these personnel. Ling Feng had also arrived and was standing at the back of the conference room. A general was giving a speech on the stage, and he was listening attentively. I've been fighting since I joined the army. I'm uncultured and uneducated. I've been to the western and southern borders. I've also fought with the ferocious beasts of the eastern sea for more than ten years. I've been to all the territories and fought for the human race. I don't care about blood or sweat. I believe everyone is the same. Today, the other world has invaded our human race again. We have to defend our homeland. In order to not be slaves and become their prisoners, we have to fight for the human race. Use your strength to defend. What do you all think? 
His tone was impassioned, making everyone excited. They felt that he was right. They had to work together and fight against the enemy. Someone immediately echoed, The general is right. We must protect the human race. We can't allow other worlds to invade us. What should we do next? Counterattack. Fight it. Right. Fight them. Everyone was in a frenzy, knowing that they had to fight and let the other party know that they were not to be trifled with. Everyone's blood boiled. Many people were in high spirits. Other than fighting back, they wanted to kill all the intruders. Ling Feng was also excited. The general agreed. Kill all the intruders. Let them know how powerful we are. FCK them up. He cursed, looking friendly and down to earth. With an order, everyone left the meeting room and headed towards the ultimate. Ling Feng followed behind, but he was caught by eldest senior brother. Don't listen to his lies. You stay here. Our academy is a transit point, the sinkhole's second line of defense. You stay here and guard the academy with me. There was a defensive formation in the academy, and it was rumored that it could even withstand a blow from a god rank powerhouse. Although no one would believe it, it definitely had no problem defending against a tier 9 powerhouse. The academy's formation was created by my master. As long as the crystal stones have enough energy, the formation will not disappear. Even a tier 9 powerhouse can't break in with the formation, so the safest place is here. Ling Feng felt warm. But if he went, wouldn't he be criticized for hiding here? All right, I'll stay, he nodded after some thought. Wang Buyu, I understand that you want to go to the front line, but it's perilous there. The defense work is still in progress, but you can go after it's done. Master said that the other world will attack in about three days, so don't go out and run around. It's safest to stay in the academy. All right, I got it, Ling Feng said. The eldest senior brother left as soon as he finished speaking. He was going to guard the academy. But Ling Feng was bored to death. He went to the library to pass the time and summoned his clone to read and study as usual. On the screen, the editor and the team had already reached the foot of the mountain. Many people had started to move. The technology department was also setting up equipment, planning to carry out defensive equipment on the mountain. The mountain wasn't particularly tall, but it was at least a thousand meters. The technicians analyzed the data and planned the scale of the mountain. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't understand what they were doing. The editor was anxious and went up to ask someone. Dear viewers, I've just asked around, he said. The technicians are measuring and modifying the mountain to familiarize themselves with the ley lines. They are preparing to transform it into a base to defend against the invasion of the other world. Some of you might not understand, but I'll explain it clearly. It's not easy to complete the transformation by pure technical means, so we'll need the help of formation masters. Moreover, the transformation is only the initial work, and there's still more to come. Quickly look. It has already started. Everyone also looked at the scene of the transformation. A man in a Taoist robe had inserted many formation flags on the mountain, which were used to set up formation. Many people didn't know much about formations, so they didn't understand this action. Suddenly, they saw the flags light up at the same time, forming a protective shield in the sky above the mountain. Tai Chi formation, set up. The man was also chanting. Thump. 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 The illusions of four divine beasts appeared in the sky, guarding the four directions. In the middle of the formation was a Tai Chi Bagua formation. Tai Chi formation, conceal. He stretched out his hand and chanted an incantation, making the formation invisible. As soon as he finished speaking, the formation disappeared as if nothing had happened. However, everyone could see that the formation was invisible. It would not appear again if they did not touch it. As long as an invader appeared, the formation would activate its defense. After that, a person moved a few boxes of energy stones and placed them in the formation's center. The formation relied on these to operate. Although he could absorb energy from the air, it was too slow. It might take an entire year, but he could only use it for an hour. It was not as convenient as using energy crystals directly. This action shocked the audience. Many of them had never seen such a shocking scene before. They couldn't help but exclaim in shock, as if they had never seen the world. So powerful. The formation master was awesome. This operation shocked me. By the way, don't you think this formation master looks familiar? What do you want to do after this? Now that the formation is ready, which step should we take next? Don't be in such a hurry, everyone. 
Take your time. The editor also comforted everyone. Don't worry. I think that after the formation is set up, the next step should be the feng shui master, followed by the engineers. They will work together until the internal formation is completed. The inner formation is the inner magic formation. Just wait and see. Ling Feng was also very curious. He had already learned the basics of formations, but he only knew the basics. He had never seen a formation that could envelop an entire mountain. Even he was shocked. After that, just like the editor said, the feng shui master came over with a compass and looked for the ley lines. Then, he used a technique that no one could understand. After the feng shui master was ready, there was no change on the mountain. However, there seemed to be some changes. The mountain seemed greener and the air better. Anyway, the whole thing is beautiful. Doesn't the mountain look better? Or am I hallucinating? Yes, that's right. I think so too. So, are there any single girls in the live broadcast room? PM me. Please, don't talk nonsense. Let me explain. This is how a feng shui master does it. It's like a microplastic surgery. The overall appearance doesn't change, but the details change. Everyone, look. The construction team is going over. The work style of the construction team was quite simple. With the help of machines, equipment, and the awakened, the construction proceeded at a lightning pace. The entire mountain was over a hundred kilometers long, and they finished it in a day. It was the first time many people had seen something so spectacular. Everyone was dumbfounded and sighed at the ability of technology. Now that everything was ready, it was time to set up the next defensive measures. All kinds of offensive weapons and heavy weapons were arranged in place. Then, they had to wait for the enemy to come. The next morning, just as the sky started to brighten, there was movement in the black vortex. Roar roar roar. The enemy was coming. Chapter 115. Fortunately, it's only tear. Ling Feng arrived at the base the day before. At that time, the base had just finished construction. However, not long after he arrived, the second wave of rescue personnel arrived. This time, there were many more people. It was noisy, as if they were strolling on the streets. However, when the base was completed, they would slowly provide them with some accommodation. Because of the wide terrain of the mountain, many residences could be built. So, even if there were tens of thousands of people, they did not have to worry about not having a place to live. There were also many soldiers and teams living together, which made it easier to gather and work. Ling Feng was arranged to live in a wooden house that was 56 square meters. Although it was a little shabby, he was a student of the Supreme Academy. Therefore, the place he was given was considered significant. Most of the others had to stay in the dormitory. However, more and more residences would be completed, and they would soon have a house of their own. This would be determined as time passed. However, this was the void, which was very dangerous. It was a foreign realm that was on the verge of being invaded, and it was uncertain whether they could survive until then. At this time, Ling Feng was standing on his roof, looking at the black turbine in the distance. His face was twisted, and he was very worried, but also a little excited. He was worried that the intruders would be too strong and the base would be unable to defend itself. He might even die, which would be a great loss. He was excited because the turbine wasn't far from him, and he could see it with his eyes. As a result, he could stay home while his clone went out to farm monsters. How could he not be excited to reap the benefits like this? At this moment, the turbine was spinning rapidly. There seemed to be something black flowing inside, and the surrounding space was trembling. This space tunnel was even more dangerous than the space tunnel he remembered. Like him, many people were staring at the space tunnel. Each of them had a different expression. Some were hoping to contribute on the battlefield in exchange for powerful skills, while others were worried that the other side would eat them if the base's defense were broken. They all had different thoughts but wanted to stop the beast. Tens of thousands of eyes were staring at the same spot at the same time, and everyone's hearts began to beat wildly. Suddenly, boom! A voice that shook the heavens and earth came. What followed was the earth shaking and the roars of beasts. Roar! These roars were emitted from the turbine. These sounds were very dense, making one's hair stand on end. Ling Fang's pupils also shrank, and then he saw a terrifying scene. One after another, huge beasts emerged from the hundred meter turbine. The beast was definitely a hundred meters tall and looked like an elephant. However, there were horns on their heads. He didn't know how many of them there were. After they walked out, 
They instantly landed on the ground with a loud bang. The ground trembled, and dust flew up. What are these? Someone pointed at them in horror. What are these? After the beast landed, someone passed on an order, hurry up and check the level of the beast. Activate defense mode. As soon as he finished speaking, he had already begun the test. Soon, the system informed them. Beep, after inspection, it is a tier 6 beast. It looks like a single horned elephant and is 100 meters long. It seems to be a siege weapon. It is very strong, but slow. The system recommends fire suppression. Fortunately, it was only tier 6, everyone was relieved. There were a few tier 7 experts among them, but a large number of tier 6 experts. Ling Feng also relaxed. A tier 6 elephant clone could also be killed. Everyone, look. Those elephants are coming. It's just that a new beast has appeared behind the elephant. Don't you think there's something wrong with those elephants? What are they doing? Oh no, they're trying to drive away the beast horde of the void. They want them to eliminate us in advance. These guys actually have intelligence. According to Blue Planet, intelligence was necessary to distinguish between beasts and alien races, but these elephants seem to have their own intelligence. Those with intelligence were alien races, and those without intelligence were beasts, so they couldn't be called beasts. At this time, the elephants drove countless beasts away, which rushed toward the Blue Planet's defense line. Behind the elephant, countless ferocious beasts were also scattered to the side. All the ferocious beasts within a 5-kilometer radius were driven to the human defense line to attack. These ferocious beasts did things based on their nature, so they were instantly enraged when they were chased away. But just as he wanted to fight back, he was subdued by the elephant's momentum. They all lowered their heads and roared as they charged toward the Blue Planet's defense line. A group of ferocious beasts stretched as far as the eye could see ran across the grasslands, and it was a spectacular sight. The Blue Planet team looked worried when they saw this situation. When they came this time, the logistics department had not yet arrived. They didn't have enough food at all, or they would have been able to defend. But the general still gave the order. Use the small cannon to serve them first. Received. In the next second, very small cannonballs were shot out and landed among the beasts. Boom. 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 Although the cannonballs were tiny, there were hundreds of needles inside each one, and their bodies were poisonous. As soon as they landed on the ground, all the needles would explode, and they could instantly kill a group of beasts. The shells continued to attack the beasts, and before they could even get close to the Blue Planet's defense line, a bunch of them had already died. At this moment, someone suddenly said, General, we don't have enough shells. Do you want to switch to the cannon? No need. Keep the cannons for the elephants, requesting close contact. The general's face was grim as he said, affirm. As soon as the order was given, many soldiers began to roll up their sleeves and set off. Some other forces also received the order to rescue and also set off down the mountain. As long as they killed beasts, they would get battle merits, which could be exchanged for skills. Why did they come to the void? The main reason was the war points shop. The time had come, and they could finally go and obtain battle merits. They were all very excited. Everyone had tied a device to record their battle achievements to their bodies. They rushed towards the battlefield excitedly. Ling Feng looked at them, then took a collection system from his bag and gave it to the clones. Tie the collection device to your body and go down the mountain. Ling Feng ordered his clones to descend the mountain. This collection device was a high-tech product that combined science fiction means and was used to record battle achievements. Just yesterday, Ling Feng got quite a few things using Wang Baiyu's reputation. It wasn't anything valuable, so getting a lot of them wasn't difficult. At this moment, the neighbors around him had also put on their equipment and were ready to set off. Each of them had a serious look, but there was also a vague excitement on their faces. Ling Feng smiled, then waved his hand to let his clone set off. When the others heard the sound, they turned around. When they saw so many people who looked exactly the same, they were all stunned. What the FCK? What was this situation? 100 fetuses. Ling Feng smiled at everyone as a form of greeting. They also responded with an awkward but polite smile. Ling Feng didn't bother with them anymore and let his clone take action. The light on the clones flickered and transformed into armor and weapons. After receiving the order, they immediately went down the mountain. The rest of the people were still looking at this with dumbfounded expressions. Who the hell was he? 
This was what they were curious about. Chapter 116. Do you want battle points? They looked at each other, eager to find out who Ling Feng really was. After the clones left, the rest also left. On the other hand, Ling Feng focused his attention on the first clone. Ling Feng ordered his 200 clones to scatter everywhere to increase the speed of killing monsters. The good thing was that they could farm monsters faster, but the bad thing was that they would be killed when facing a strong enemy. However, he would experiment first to see which method would kill the monsters faster. Then, he would use that method. The clones scattered and blended into the crowd, rushing down the mountain with the crowd. At this time, the grassland below the mountain was filled with the shadows of fierce beasts. It was impossible to count how many there were at a glance. Many people were shocked when they saw this. Most of them had never encountered such a beast tide before, and they were all shocked. At this moment, a group of over a thousand soldiers in military uniforms, armed with many weapons, walked over in a very neat line. They did not retreat even when they saw the beasts charging at them. The leading officer inside said loudly, Assemble the formation. The adjutant immediately shouted, Form the blood tiger formation. Yes, sir. The soldiers' unified reply resonated in the air, giving people goosebumps when they heard it. As the formation of their team changed, a red tiger condensed above their heads. The tiger raised its head and roared. The officer waved his knife, and the tiger also roared and jumped down from the air, directly plunging into the group of beasts. Roar. The tiger was like a fire as it charged through the group of beasts. Almost no one could defeat him. At this time, the officer continued to order, the beasts here are too weak. Let's continue. Then, he left the battlefield to the adventurers who came later. At this time, number one was still hiding in the crowd. Ling Fang's consciousness was still in number one's body. He saw that these people did not kill the remaining beasts like they did. His choice was to follow the officer. Ling Feng was very interested in their blood tiger formation. If he could learn it, he would definitely have another life-saving skill. At this time, the other clones also activated their monster killing mode. Ling Fang's mind was filled with system notifications. Congratulations to the host for killing a tier 2 long-haired ape. Experience points plus 200. Congratulations to the host for killing a tier 4 spirit-winged bird. You have gained 2000 experience points. The notifications continued to ring out as his experience points continued to increase. Ling Feng was extremely comfortable and rolled around on the bed. His eyes were fixed on the roof, and he said with a smile, this is the life you should live. Awesome. He tossed and turned, and the excitement in his heart could not disappear for a long time. Left with no choice, he could only shift his gaze to the other clones. This was the second one. At this time, the second clone was killing a group of beasts. Ling Feng discovered that these beasts were called, Iron Hoofed Sheep, because of their iron hooves. It wasn't very strong, only Tier 2. Even the leader of the pack rarely broke through to Tier 3. At this time, Clone 2, whose combat strength was comparable to that of a Tier 5 sorcerer, was like fire. With a spear in his hand, he killed a group of people with a single swing. Ling Feng couldn't help but be overjoyed when he saw this. Even though there was a lot of sheep, about 10,000 of them, they were timid by nature. Seeing number two kill his own people, not only would he not think of revenge, but he would think of running away. That was why there was such an outrageous scene. A human was actually chasing after over 10,000 sheep. This scene reminded him of a show he had once watched. In that show, a shepherd dog barked, and all the sheep moved forward in an orderly manner. If he barked again, the sheep would immediately stop. Sheep were simply too gentle. Even if a ferocious beast had mutated, it could not change this nature. The second clone didn't care so much, it rushed up and started killing. Seeing this, Ling Feng immediately withdrew his consciousness and focused on the third clone. At this time, the third clone was forming a team with a group of adventurers. They were all young men. When the adventurers saw that the third clone was also a young man, they wanted to pull him into the team. However, the third clone did not have any self-awareness. It only had some instincts, so he did not speak or answer. He looked very cold. In the eyes of those youths, this was an expert. After the third clone killed a few tier 4 beasts, they were even more certain of this idea. All of them were praising the third clone. The woman blew him a kiss, and the man asked to be carried. 
Ling Feng's consciousness suddenly came to the third clone, and its aura suddenly changed a little. At that moment, he suddenly spoke, Which academy are you from? The third clone suddenly spoke, which surprised them. There was even a girl who looked at the third clone with eyes full of adoration. The men were the same. They couldn't wait to ask the third clone to take them. Senior, we are from Sashan Academy. Yes, we are freshmen. Senior, where are you from? Senior, you're already at tier 4 despite your young age. You must be from one of the 10 great academies, right? Senior, what's your name? All these questions made Ling Feng speechless. He had read a lot of books about the Sashan Academy they were talking about, and he definitely knew about it. Ranked 58th, the school was built on a mountain with a special magnetic field. This magnetic field was very magical and could change a person's physical fitness, making them stronger bit by bit. Under normal circumstances, the students recruited by such an institution would definitely be a rank. They were all a rank awakened, but they were only tier 2. They must have just entered the school. Ling Feng laughed. I'm not here for you. We're all travelers. You have such weak combat power, yet you dare to come out and attack the monster. Should I commend your courage or your ignorance? As soon as he finished speaking, they were all stunned and embarrassed. Senior, we won't continue to go in. We'll just stay at the foot of the mountain. Kill a few single beasts. Look around. There aren't many powerful beasts. Yes, and senior, don't you still have you here? Moreover, this place is close to the base. There are very few beasts, and they are very scattered. After the slaughter, many have run 10 miles away. Their number here has decreased by a lot, and they have been scattered. Hearing these words, Ling Feng was indeed a naive student. He was just about to drive them away when a thought suddenly came to his mind. Since there were fewer beasts, and they had run so far away, wouldn't it be difficult to attack the clone? Do you want to get battle points? Ling Feng asked. Of course I want to. They said in unison. Who didn't want to get battle points? This could be exchanged for skill treasures, and there were many treasures on the market that couldn't be bought at all. There were even many treasures from heaven and earth. Magical pills and the like could be exchanged with battle points. Didn't they come here to gain battle points? Sure. Ling Feng said. Then you guys go and attract the beasts over. For every beast, I'll give you 10% of the profits. How about that? Don't be in a hurry to refuse. You only need to attract the ferocious beasts over. There's no need to kill them, Ling Feng said. When they heard this, they looked at each other and began to hesitate. A few girls in the line shook their heads, not daring to do so. The other men also didn't dare to move forward. They were also afraid. After a while, only a thin and short boy agreed to his request. I'll be happy to go, he replied. Chapter 117, Poor Physique. Ling Feng looked at the young man in front of him. What's your name? The young man was dressed in a short black suit. He was short and had average looks. He was probably the kind of person who could hide in a crowd and couldn't be found. However, Ling Feng felt a little uncomfortable when he saw him, he wanted to punch him. In his heart, there was a little devil telling him that this person really deserved a beating. Otherwise, he should give him a good beating. He felt that there might be something wrong with his hearing. He had actually heard this. He quickly adjusted his breathing and calmed down. Yang Jian, the young man looked straight at Ling Feng and said his name. Ling Feng smiled faintly. Yang Jian, I'll leave this to you. But you have to be careful. Don't ignore the danger and think of your life. Ling Feng also gave a few more words of advice, and then the young man went to attract the fierce beasts. The teenager's companions were temporarily afraid and retreated, running toward the base. Ling Feng looked at the battlefield again. The battlefield was a mess. The humans and the beasts were fighting. However, the humans were more intelligent than the beasts, and they had more people. The beasts were at a disadvantage. Soon, the army joined in. Each and every one of them was brave and good at fighting. They could kill a fierce beast with one slash. Many took advantage of this time to follow the army and pick up the leftovers. The surroundings scattered. The fighting style of Ling Feng's clones was different from ordinary people. They usually killed a lot of monsters, so they treated killing monsters as a normal thing. The people around him also noticed him. However, they all seemed familiar, as if they had seen them elsewhere. However, they had seen it in another place, and now they were seeing it again. Everyone was confused for a while. 
Yang Jian relied on this weak strength to successfully attract many fierce beasts. Roar! The beasts stared at him and rushed over with red eyes, but he used all his strength to run and dodge. He didn't run for long before he saw the third clone, and he quickly hid to the side. Soon, the beast also arrived and suddenly slashed down. Just like that, the beast died in Ling Fang's hands without room for resistance. Ling Feng was very satisfied with the constant increase in his combat power and level up points. He looked at the other party with a smile. You're doing pretty well. Continue. After that, Ling Feng transferred 5% of his battle points to Yang Jian and said, Continue to lure the beasts over like this. Ling Feng felt that Yang Jian felt he could be detested but couldn't be. He just wanted to beat him up whenever he saw him. Therefore, to be able to attract so many beasts, he was indeed worthy of his name. After receiving the battle points, Yang Jian was overjoyed. Senior, thank you. Um, Ling Feng gestured for the other party to continue. There was no need to stop. After receiving the order, Yang Jian went out to lure the monsters. At this time, the beasts had already pulled away and were scattered everywhere. After getting thrashed by the humans, the beasts fled helter-skelter in all directions. Since it was disadvantageous for them to gather together, Ling Fang's speed of killing monsters was also greatly reduced. It was too slow to kill them one by one, and this place was too big. Every ferocious beast was in a different place, so the efficiency was greatly reduced. There were also some fierce beasts that were a few miles away, which were even more difficult to lure over, and their speed was extremely slow. However, the third clone's clone was more successful. It was as if Yang Jian's entire body had its own magical power. He could actively attract ferocious beasts, and the murderer would chase after him madly when they saw him. Not long after, he saw a group of fierce beasts chasing him over. Ling Fang's eyes were filled with joy, and his clone immediately charged over. Not long after. The beasts died at Ling Fang's hands, and he was tired of killing. In this short period of time, he had killed so many that the number was comparable to ten clones. At this time, Yang Jian was also exhausted, but he was very happy, because he only needed to lure monsters to obtain a lot of bonus battle points. He could lure a few each time, which was equivalent to killing a few monsters. Although there weren't many berserk beasts, he was just a student. It was already very good for him to have such a powerful result. They had originally come to the sinkhole to see the world, but if it were really their turn to kill fierce beasts, it would be a great challenge for them. Basically, they would only kill monsters at the foot of the mountain. The beasts there had the lowest combat power and were also well defended, so they would not really come to the battlefield to kill enemies. From Ling Fang's point of view, it was as if he had picked up a treasure. This Yang Jian was really an immense treasure, being able to help him attract so many fierce beasts. The way he looked at Yang Jian had changed. Yang Jian, I think you're not bad. Do you want to consider following me? Yang Jian was stunned. Then, he asked, Follow you, do I get paid? Ling Feng was also stunned for a moment, then laughed out loud. Of course. Of course, you will. And quite a lot, might I add. Sure. No problem, Yang Jian also said happily. Ling Feng nodded and patted the other's shoulder. All right, you'll be in charge of luring monsters for me from now on. You don't have to do anything else. But I'm a little curious about one thing. I didn't notice you using your talent from the beginning. As he looked at Yang Jian, Ling Feng felt the urge to punch him. Could this be talent? Ling Feng had this suspicion. Yang Jian's expression was also a little awkward. He had never taken the initiative to talk about his talent, but since Ling Feng had asked, Yang Jian's face was filled with confusion. It's my talent that deserves a beating, Yang Jian looked troubled. Ling Feng was dumbfounded. There was actually such a talent as expected. The more he looked at the other party, the more he wanted to beat him up. Furthermore, there was no reason for him to have such a thought. After seeing Ling Feng's intentions, Yang Jian subconsciously took a few steps back. Senior, you, Ling Feng adjusted his breathing and calmed down. This talent is really interesting. What rank is it? S rank. Why didn't an S rank student enter the top 10 academies? Because I was on the exam field, the invigilators wanted to beat me up the moment they saw me, so I ran away in fear. Later, for some reason, I entered the school I am in now. What about your school life? I usually get bashed up, 
but I've also become stronger, thanks to that. I don't really hate getting bashed because I'm used to it. Senior, do you want to try? I'm willing. You're willing. My asterisk SS. Ling Feng was speechless. This wasn't talent, this was masochism. You can't resist, and you're enjoying it? He laughed. Forget it. I'm not interested. You can continue luring the monsters. Just a little more each time. The more, the better. But you're alone. How can I be alone? Hurry up and go. Don't talk nonsense. Oh, sure. After Yang Jian left, Ling Feng immediately summoned three clones. The distance between the clone and the main body could not exceed 5,000 meters, so there were few places that the clone could go. The clone could not even touch the fierce beasts 10 miles away. Ling Feng was very worried because the distance was too far. The beasts were scattered everywhere, and there were very few beasts in each place. Yang Jian was a very good choice if he wanted a smooth journey to becoming stronger. His talent was a double-edged sword. He could attract all the beasts and kill them all at once. It was much easier than looking for them one by one. Moreover, after killing all the ferocious beasts nearby, he could go ten miles away to look for them and then lure them in. At this moment, a voice came from the distance. Ling Feng raised his head and saw thousands of different kinds of beasts with red eyes chasing someone. The one being chased was Yang Jian. Although the beasts were fast, they couldn't catch up with Yang Jian. Had Yang Jian trained his running speed, he could even participate in the Olympics. However, with such a large group of fierce beasts chasing after him because of his innate physique, he didn't dare to run slow. Chapter 118 Keep Luring Monsters A Great Rumble the group of beasts seemed to have gone mad as they chased after a human. It was as if that human owed them eight million. The man ran very fast because if he stopped, he would be torn to pieces by the beasts. Yang Jian ran over with all his might, shouting as he ran, Senior, hurry up. Ling Feng was a little excited. There were actually so many beasts. He immediately ordered his clone to use the skill together. In an instant, countless beautiful slashes fell. Whoosh. The slash landed between Yang Jian and the beast. The beast suddenly felt something and stopped moving forward. Yang Jian immediately ran away. Yang Jian heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he had returned. He instantly found a place to hide. After Yang Jian disappeared, Ling Feng appeared with his clone. Looking at the thousands of berserk beasts in front of him, he was extremely excited because these were all leveling points. Weapons appeared in their hands, and armor covered their bodies. With a single command, everyone charged forward with murderous intent. Falling flower slash. Flame slash. Ice blade slash. 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 All his skills were released, and the beasts in front of him died in large numbers. The beasts standing behind felt Ling Feng's power and immediately retreated in fear. However, Ling Feng saw that they were trying to escape, so he would definitely not let them go. He took his weapon and chased after it, bombarding it with a barrage of attacks. Thud, 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 the berserk beasts were dying in groups again. The few remaining ferocious beasts no longer had the will to fight, they all fled in all directions to escape. A portion of the beasts had indeed escaped, but there was also a portion that Ling Feng had killed. Ling Feng was very satisfied when he saw the corpses of the beasts on the ground. Even though they're just some of the weaker ones, there's still quite a number of tier 3 ones, there's a large number of them in total. Ling Feng laughed out loud. It wasn't like he didn't gain anything this time. The other clones also laughed. At this moment, Yang Jian walked out and looked at the four Ling Fengs in disbelief. He was completely stunned. So this was what Ling Feng meant when he said that there wasn't one person, but four people who looked the same. He felt ridiculed. How could there be so many seniors? Could it be quadruplets? But it was quite impressive to have four completely identical people standing in front of him. Hello, seniors. Yang Jian walked over and greeted him obediently. Ling Feng laughed. Not bad this time. I'll give you a commission. Are you tired? Ling Feng asked after he handed the commission to the other party. No. After receiving the battle points, Yang Jian was so excited that he felt motivated again. All right. You can continue luring the monsters. If you feel that it won't work, then stop. Don't take risks. After all, 
Yang Jian's talent was too rare and would be of great help to him, so he didn't want him to die. If Yang Jian were to die, the efficiency of killing monsters would be greatly reduced. Senior, I'll go immediately. He packed his things and set off without any hesitation. Seeing Yang Jian leave, Ling Feng also summoned six clones, making them ten in total. The berserk beast horde was basically useless now, and many of his clones couldn't even find any monsters to kill. Not long after, Yang Jian came over. It was the same as before. He brought over more than a thousand fierce beasts. After Ling Feng saw them, he immediately ordered his clone to kill the monsters. The ten clones attacked at the same time. The scene was spectacular. The beast could not survive for more than a second and was killed in an instant. Congratulations on killing Violent Tiger. 800 points have been added to your account. Congratulations. You've killed. The berserk beasts died one after another from their clones, and their level up points were also increasing rapidly. Not long after, their level up points had reached tens of thousands. Yang Jian came over to take a look and saw ten Ling Fengs. He was dumbfounded. How could the ten Ling Fengs look exactly the same? There was no difference at all. He rubbed his eyes in disbelief but still saw ten Ling Fengs. This was not an illusion. Why were there six more? Could it be that Senior has nine brothers? That's ten packs of babies. This is terrible. He was very shocked. Ling Feng also noticed his strange expression and went up to pat him. What are you staring at my clone for? A clone. Only then did Yang Jian realize he was Ling Feng's brother, but it turned out to be his clone. He finally knew. His guess just now was a little too exaggerated. After all, who could give birth to ten identical people in one child? He had thought too much just now. You should be tired now, right? Ling Feng smiled. Yang Jian nodded. Yes, I'm going to rest for a while. Ling Feng nodded and did not rush him. It was good to rest for a while to avoid being too forceful and accidentally dying at the hands of the fierce beasts. Yang Jian sat down to rest. He took out some food and water from his bag to replenish his energy, and his clones went out to check the situation around him. Taking advantage of this moment, Ling Feng returned to his consciousness and focused on the body of the first clone. At this moment, Clone 1 was at the back of the army, and the army was in a stalemate with a group of earth dragons. Clone 1 was standing a hundred meters away, just in time to see the situation over there. The centurion was shocked. How can such a monster exist? An earth dragon had a trace of the dragon's blood. An adult would be at tier 6, but among tier 6 ferocious beasts, their battle strength was indeed very outstanding. At this time, they actually encountered a group of earth dragons, and with a glance, there were at least a hundred. Everyone's expression was extremely grave. They felt that it was already too late to escape. This group of earth dragons had already regarded them as a thorn in their side. Whoever dared to escape would be locked on by the earth dragons. Quick, get into formation, the thousand man commander shouted. All right, everyone said loudly. Not long after, a red tiger appeared in the sky. The tiger roared, and the earth dragon also roared. Suddenly, its enormous body was charging toward them. The centurion raised the long spear in his hand and thrust it forward with all his might. Thump! The long spear was mixed with the roar of the tiger as it pierced the group of earth dragons. However, something unexpected happened. The earth dragon had actually blocked it. After that, the earth dragon began to gather power and was ready to attack them. Suddenly, a black thing appeared in its mouth. Black demonic chi shot over. Changed to a defensive formation, the captain shouted again. At this moment, the formation suddenly changed into a defensive formation. Ling Feng was a little excited as he watched from behind. If he also had this military formation, then he could totally go and challenge a seventh step. This was because the soldiers in front of him were only at stage four at most. Even with the Chiliarchs, they were only at stage 5. However, more than 1,000 people could fight against 6 beasts with this formation. It would be great if he could get this array. He moved his heart of concealment and retracted his consciousness. He then recalled the other 100 clones. He then sent out 100 of his clones to help the soldiers. The soldiers were still struggling. The captain felt that there was no more hope. Why haven't the reinforcements arrived? The adjutant could only smile bitterly. There's no army nearby. 
All of them are to set up defenses and fight against the beasts from the other world. It's such a long distance. It'll take at least half an hour, even if they rush over. We still have to hold on for a little longer. How can we hold on? Everyone has no strength. The centurion was in despair. We don't have a choice. The adjutant sighed. Just then, someone shouted from behind, General, reinforcements. The reinforcements are here. Chapter 119. What the hell is this? Secretly happy, everyone turned to look behind them. After seeing them, however, they were all dumbfounded. What was going on? Multiple births or an army of clones? So many people who looked the same were walking towards them. They looked like humans, but there were so many of them that they were like monsters. They had no idea that there were multiple armies. However, they soon arrived. Everyone's eyes were fixed on them, shocked and puzzled. Among them, a clone controlled by Ling Feng shouted, Don't worry, everyone. We're here to support you. When everyone heard this, they were relieved. A group of people who looked the same looked very strange. Fortunately, they were here to help, so they didn't care much. If no one came to their aid, they would all die soon. Now that someone had come, they would definitely welcome him. Everyone, cheer up. The thousand man commander shouted, Our reinforcements are here. That's great. However, when the clone walked over, everyone was disappointed. Only a hundred people. We're very grateful that you've come to our aid, the commander added. But the earth dragons are all tier six. I'm worried. I haven't finished, in the next moment, they widened their eyes in disbelief. There was a flash of white light, and then these people turned into white light and gathered on one person, forming a cocoon-like thing. Everyone was very puzzled. They had never seen such a situation before. What's going on? I'm not sure, and they've all turned into light. Don't talk nonsense. He must be using some secret technique. Calm down and watch. With the captain's reminder, the entire scene fell silent as everyone focused their attention on the light. Groan. The earth dragon did not continue to attack. Instead, it gathered its strength to sharpen its claws and ran towards them. Oh no, the earth dragon is about to engage in close combat. Everyone, focus and prepare to defend. Everyone was extremely nervous. No one dared to think about anything else as they concentrated on casting the array together. The distance between the two sides wasn't far. The earth dragon was very fast, and it didn't take long for it to attack. Bang! Bang! The earth dragon's huge body slammed into the shield. The shield could not withstand it at all and shook violently. Crash! The formation was shattered by the earth dragon. All the soldiers and commanders suddenly vomited blood as they suffered the backlash from the formation. The soldiers' vitality was greatly damaged, and their faces were pale. As they watched the beasts approach step by step, they were all in despair. Even if I die today, I won't let you have your way. Everyone, listen to my command. Prepare to self-destruct. Damn it. Let's die together. The ability to self-destruct, as long as it was at the fifth rank or above, whether it was a beast, human, or alien race, was a very common thing. However, humans could drop skill crystals by self-destructing after humans killed their opponents. However, self-destructing crystals were not worth much on the market. Furthermore, there was a possibility that they wouldn't be able to sell it at all, so they usually wouldn't self-destruct. Because if he died, what was the use of having those things? However, they were soldiers, and each of them had the ability to self-destruct. Since he had joined the army, he had to have the awareness of facing death calmly. Even if he lost, he had to die together with the enemy. This was the basic quality of a warrior. The energy gathered in their bodies and expanded. The beasts sensed that it would be dangerous to get any closer, so they immediately retreated. The earth dragon formed a huge black energy ball. The energy ball suddenly flew into the crowd when it was more than three meters in the air. After everyone saw this, their eyes were filled with despair. At most, we'll fight to the death, someone shouted and rushed towards the beast. What do you mean? At this moment, they heard a voice behind them opposing them. Everyone was shocked. They turned around and saw a bodhisattva with many hands looking at them calmly. The bodhisattva stretched out one of his hands and slapped the energy ball away. The energy ball landed far away and exploded, blasting a hole in the mountain. Everyone's attention was drawn to this bodhisattva. This image looked very much like the thousand-armed Guanyin. 
The thousand armed Guanyin had a total of 99 hands. The right hand had a prayer bead, indicating that Bodhisattva could protect those who had Buddha in their hearts. He held a Dharma wheel in his left hand, and it was as if everything was spinning endlessly. The arm in the middle was raised in front of his chest to make a wish, indicating that he could satisfy the wishes of the people in the world. The thousand of the thousand hand Guanyin could be a physical object or an illusion. If it was the complete version, then the arms would be like a wheel. Each palm would have an eye that could see the suffering of the world and release all living beings from purgatory. There would be 500 eyes on the left and right sides, and the forefront hand would put its palms together as a form of respect. The 100 clones formed the thousand hand Guanyin, and its appearance was more complete. He had kind brows and eyes full of compassion as he stood on a high spot and looked down at the people in the scene. I have a total of 100 hands, and you have more than 100. How about I fight one of you with one hand? What do you think? Ling Fang's voice rang out as if a loudspeaker had been set up. It reverberated in the air and everyone who heard it was in awe. The ferocious beasts were also stunned. When they saw that the Bodhisattva in front of them was actually a hundred meters tall, they all shouted a few times and retreated. All of Ling Fang's clones were at tier 5. With dozens of clones added together, their combat strength could beat it by one tier. In addition to their stronger talent, 100 of them combined together would be very powerful even if they were at tier 6. Since you're not going to say anything, I'll make the decision. He sighed softly and put his two arms together. Die. The hundreds of hands that followed all turned into fists and attacked the beasts. Boom. The incomparably huge fist seemed to tear through the air, giving off a deafening sound. The soldiers felt that the scene in front of them was too spectacular, and they were all stunned. The murderer couldn't even lift his head from the strong air pressure. Just as he wanted to activate his skill to stop the other party, he was punched away before he could succeed. Ohm. Ling Feng chanted loudly, with each punch directly hitting the beast. When these hundreds of fists landed, even the ground looked riddled with holes, let alone these fierce beasts. After that, it was unclear how many punches he had thrown until the sound of the beast stopped. Ling Feng also slowly stopped. Looking up, there was no sign of any beast. The place where the beast had been standing was now full of holes. It was so dark that he had no idea what was happening inside. Everyone was dumbfounded as they looked at the thousand hand Guanyin. Then, they turned their heads to look at the biggest hole. The captain's expression was also very stiff. He was so shocked that he could not say anything. He and his adjutant pointed at their throats, hoping that Ling Feng would speak. The adjutant also came back to his senses and immediately thanked Ling Feng. We are very grateful. We will never forget your life-saving grace. Ling Feng didn't say anything. Instead, he kept all his rewards from defeating the beast. He was so happy that he even had time to talk to people. At this moment, the system's voice sounded. Congratulations on killing the earth dragon. You have obtained 58,000 level up points. Congratulations on killing the earth dragon. You have obtained 52,000 level up points. Congratulations, Chapter 120, Great Kindness. As expected of an elite among Tier 6 players, the leveling points gained from defeating the Earth Dragon were simply too much. It was equivalent to twice the leveling points of other Tier 6 players. It hadn't been long, and he had already gained over 4 million points. I can finally level up. Ling Feng was secretly happy. Let's wait for a while. There are still so many spoils of war waiting for me. He looked at the items dropped on the battlefield and collected them happily. At this moment, he heard his adjutant's voice. Why is your voice so hoarse? Ling Feng asked. The adjutant was speechless and thought to himself, I've called you so many times, but you didn't reply. How could my voice not be hoarse? However, he had to do something. The commander finally reacted, and he was able to speak. He was extremely grateful. Thank you, sir, for saving our lives. This is our military card. Please accept it. If you need our help in the future, please let us know. The captain handed over a token engraved with a blood tiger with both hands. His expression was very serious, and he did not seem to be joking. Ling Feng nodded and released the fusion, allowing the clones to spread. I know what you mean, but I don't need this military card. If you really want to repay me, why don't you teach me this military formation? When the captain heard this, he turned to look at his adjutant. The adjutant was a little flustered and said, 
Benefactor, we can't decide on the battle formation. I'm afraid we can't do this. He saluted very respectfully to show his apology. At this time, Ling Fang's expression was a little disappointed. He had quietly followed them and helped at the critical moment for the sake of the battle formation. If he couldn't get it here, he could only think of other ways and see if he could exchange for it in the war achievement store. The adjutant saw that his benefactor was a little disappointed, so he thought of a way and said, Benefactor, we can try to negotiate with the higher-ups. That's great. Ling Feng was overjoyed. The adjutant quickly contacted his superior. When the higher-ups found out the whole story, they were also very shocked. After much consideration, he still agreed. After the adjutant hung up the phone, he told Ling Feng, Benefactor, our higher-ups have agreed. This is the formation technique book. Ling Feng was overjoyed to see the array book and quickly reached out to take it. You're all seriously injured now, he said. If you encounter anything else, you won't have the strength to fight. Why don't I send you back? Then I'll be very grateful. Everyone's face was filled with joy as they all thanked him. The team set off again. Everyone supported each other, and the speed of their journey was very slow. Ling Feng spread out his clones, one to pick up the spoils of war, the other to send these people back. On the way back, ferocious beasts tried to ambush them, but the clones could deal with them easily. After arriving at the base, Ling Feng sent them off and was ready to leave. The captain and the adjutant were extremely grateful. Benefactor, may I know your name? Why don't we add each other's contact information? Ling Feng suggested. The moment Ling Feng finished speaking, the atmosphere instantly changed. They also added each other as friends. What are your names? Ling Feng asked again. 10,000 Mile Commander, Wu Yang, the adjutant replied. Then make a note. I'm Ling Feng, Ling Feng laughed. All right. The two of them stood there respectfully. After agreeing, they went to the notes. All right, all right, there's no need to send me off. I'll be leaving first. Ling Feng waved his hand and left. However, he didn't know that after he left, what had just happened spread around like wildfire. At first, only the military said it, but it didn't take long for it to spread among the civilians. When everyone heard Ling Feng's expression, it was as if they were instantly reminded of the person who stole their monster. They weren't touched at all, and instead, they started cursing. Ling Feng's clones had a lot of battle experience and were more familiar with kill-stealing techniques. This made many people very angry, and they chased after them. However, Ling Feng's clones had outstanding strength and often self-destructed. Those chasing him were extremely angry, but they didn't dare to act casually. Now, they finally knew that those who looked the same were not the original body but a clone of someone. They had never seen such a powerful clone, much less so many of them all at once. After some investigation, they managed to dig out information about Ling Feng. At this time, the war was almost over. Everyone took a break, but the internet was in chaos. That's him. Everyone, take a good look. He's the one who stole my monster, and he stole it many times. I'm so angry. Why does he look so much like Ling Feng? That Ling Feng from the third high school. That's right. He's the only one with a cloning talent, and he's a genius to begin with. He molted from a B rank to an S rank, and then he even attended the Supreme Academy. He's so despicable. He's stealing monsters everywhere. If I see him, I'll definitely beat him up. Do you have the ability to beat him up? You might not even be able to defeat his clone. That's right. If the clone is already ridiculously strong, wouldn't the main body be even stronger? I think we should all be careful. What kind of talent is this? Self-destructing at the drop of a hat. The internet was already in a heated debate. Some hated Ling Feng, while others were grateful to have him around. Although Ling Feng's clone killed many female students, it also saved many of them. Didn't we just snatch a few monsters? Do you have to shout and kill him? You guys are too petty. It's just a few monsters. At most, I'll return them to you. Whoever kills Ling Feng is going against us. Just because you say we're robbing doesn't mean we're robbing. It's all because you can't beat them, so they went to help you. Why do you think it's called a kill steal? You're too narrow-minded. Ling Feng is our savior. Sisters, we must boycott those who slander his good name. That's right. Ling Feng was the one who saved me three times. Every time I was in danger, he was the one who appeared. He's my prince charming. 
If any of you dare to say anything bad about Ling Feng, you're going against me. The girls who had received Ling Feng's great kindness all worked together to be Ling Feng's strong backing. Because of this, they even specially created a group. The group leader gave orders that if anyone dared to slander Ling Feng, they would support Ling Feng on all major platforms. Therefore, whoever did this would immediately have their homepage drowned in saliva, and that person's personal information would also be made public by the search engine. Even his family would suffer. Those people could only apologize and didn't dare to criticize Ling Feng again. Hence, the internet quieted down very quickly. This is too terrifying. I'm the most miserable one. Okay. A girl actually told my mom that she was pregnant and that the child was mine. My mom actually believed her. That's nothing. My boyfriend wants to break up with me because of Ling Feng. That's nothing. My five older sisters and my mother are all on Ling Feng's side. I have no status at home. This is nothing. You guys don't know my situation. What happened to you this time? Hurry up and tell us. Let us have a good time. All right. Let me introduce myself. I'm Ling Feng. Huh. Everyone was stunned. Then, they exploded.